Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting ready to do my third Cards, Tags, and More project for the month. My final project for November, or my final project for October, which is a November memory decks. I don't have a card for every single day in November. I just have the overall November calendar on one of the cards and then a few highlight days just for examples. I'm going to use up the bits and pieces I have left from the card pack. I have some partial sheets of cardstock from my scraps pile and then I have all of my memory dex dies. I've pulled out a selection of dies some from my stash, some are from previous kits, I have smaller pieces of, of scraps. I was just really trying to use up things um, and, and try to get everything that I thought I might want to use out in the open where I could see it. Okay, for my first card, which is just the title card, I decided I wanted to make it a shaker card. I used a gold marker in my silhouette to draw out this maple leaf and then I cut it but I'm still leaving it on my mat to work on it and I am just using that glue pen from this month's mixed media kit and just putting glue on not perfectly but so that I can use some gold foil that I had in my stash that, that had been in a kit a couple years ago. So you can see it's really very random, kind of patchworkish, uh, the way I'm the way I'm putting this foil on. I wasn't trying to make it perfect. I wasn't trying to cover the whole leaf. I just wanted to add the extra shine to to the leaf, but still have that gold marker show through. And there you have it, the decorative front for the shaker part and my foil covered November. Because this is a shaker card, I wanted to make sure that it was going to be sturdy, so I doubled up the cardstock. For the spacer, I have two pieces of cardstock and I used hot glue between them to create my spacer. So I'm just I'm just trimming the little bits of the hot glue that had come out. I thought it worked really well because I was able to make sure that it, it stayed relatively flat. And there you have it. I stitched the acetate to my leaf. And to keep my sewing machine from scratching up that acetate, I just fed it through with some tissue paper because the tissue paper will peel off and tear off real easy through those stitches. If you're going to do this and you already have glue on there, especially that glue from the mixed media kit, it's very sticky. Um, I would highly suggest using non-stick needles. And then to hold my acetate to my spacer, I'm just using some Judy Kim's Diamond Glaze. It dries clear, it dries fast. And it's relatively good for adhering slick materials like that acetate. I'm just coming in with my Distress Oxide here. Um, I think it was frayed burlap. I'm actually not sure right now. And I'm just adding some color, uh, blending it across, getting those getting those solid card stocks a little less solid looking and there it is my finished november 2022 for my for my title card the front card for my shaker card for this all right i'm just using some stickles i think it was some peeled paint stickles distress stickles that i had it was actually almost an empty bottle and i did actually just finish using it up on this project it had it had been hanging around for a while i just wanted to use it add a little bit of sparkle on on the front of my shaker really make sure that that the the die cut of the stem and the veins on the front were glued down good on the edges and then I used it along the the edge you can see here I used it along this edge and that was just to kind of smooth out that spacer gap and to cover up the hot glue that I had used and and just really give it more of a finished edge all right I'm just gonna add in my sequins I have this bag of a random mix of sequins in a lot of different colors a lot of different shapes so I'm gonna pick out a few that are leaf shaped and then I'm going to add in just some others that I have lying around um, that I like the colors of for this project. 
with that first card done, I I have just gone ahead, I have cut out all of the all of the decorative pieces that I thought might work, might go good with a November and an autumn theme. I just went through and I went through all of those scrap pieces and all the small pieces and all of the the pieces that I had already cut. Um, if a die fit over it, or at least most of the way over it, then I cut it out of I, I cut the the die cut out of that piece of the paper. This is the day I found out my printer decided to st stop doing the printing thing. This is this is what the calendar was originally designed to look like. It was supposed to print out looking like this. It did not. Um, I tried I tried turning it into a sketch in Silhouette Studio, but there's it was just so small it was hard to read. So my my calendar here on on my sample cards was just printed out in black and white because that was the only printer that was working. Everything from here on out is assembly. I made some envelopes. Uh, I I would just cover the envelopes with smaller pieces. Um, I used my Heidi Swap. Uh, my Heidi Swap Memory Dex Punch to to pop the holes in those envelopes. I only used the frayed burlap distress oxide throughout this project, so it just became a a mass production of putting putting the cards together and then coming back through and adding finishing touches, and then as I finished them as they dried. I put them into I put them into my 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 Rolodex here. Once the cards were most of the way done and I had I had the majority of the pieces on that I wanted to use, I came in with a date stamp and this small Hampton Art Alpha stamp set so that I could put the titles on the cards and the dates. For this part of the assembly, I used a combination of the frayed burlap distress oxide, I would add embossing powder sometimes, and I had a couple of stazons, especially for the date parts of them and the, the smaller stamping. And with that, my November memory deck section is done. I just used up the rest of the pieces that I had cut since they were already there. I hope that you enjoyed this project and it gave you some ideas of what you can do with this month's Cards, Tags, and More kit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications. Give us a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you and I will see you again next month.